Okay, so boom. So on the night of February 7, 2023, at approximately 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the 80-year-old president of the most powerful country in the world, known as Joseph Robinette Biden, oh, he stood center stage in the people's house and delivered the State of the Union. And when I say deliver, I mean delivered, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. I am more than convinced that him and Obama was up late the night before in some little Oval Office space, laying on the floor in their little dress pants and suspenders and socks and stuff with their little feet in the air, editing this man ad libs because i swear for anybody that some of them they sounded a little ancestral from the motherland now peep this so when i tell you that the room was flooded with all kind of people everybody and their mama was up in there okay it was different members of congress they had supreme court justices old and new they had tiktokers they had everybody up in that mug so you know me i'm sitting there like okay you feel me i know i asked for visuals you know a little razzle dazzle or whatever but uh big press i see you because big press put on a show no amc so when he first pulled up to the podium he he all cool, calm, and collected with it. You feel me? He got on his little blue suit, you know, a little blue tie to match. You know, he's standing all proper, looking political and whatnot. But then all of a sudden, he put a book like this thick down right in front of him, right? So you know me, I'm kind of tripping. I'm like, bro, it's 9 o'clock. Like, I'm tired. I got homework. Like, what did you finna do with that? But I called you, bro. Let's move with it. You feel me? He just put the little notebook down, looked around. You feel me? Open it to whatever page you wanted it on. Has little hands like this. You feel me? Look straight up. And he just like, you know, I just want to thank everybody. Hey. But at some point in the middle of all his thank yous, he had kind of stopped, you feel me? He turned around, he looked over his little left shoulder, you feel me? And I see him stick his hand out, and he went to go shake K-Mac and Cheese's hand, right? After he shake bro's hand, he like, hey, bro, you know, I just want to go ahead and congratulate you in front of all these people for finally becoming Speaker of the House, my G. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to hold you. I was a little concerned for you for a minute, player. Like, I'm sitting here thinking to myself in the over office, like, man, even heavyweight boxing champs only go 12 rounds, <laughs> but he just fought for his life for 15. So then, you know, he turned around kind of slick he like you know i just thought i'd let you know <laughs> looking forward to doing business with you bro but then it was at that moment like right in front of our very eyes and with no warning that joseph robinette biden just transformed into a dark brand like dead serious it literally just took over his body the way buddy love did professor clump back in that movie and like i could tell when it happened because all of a sudden like something just like clicked you feel me and then he just started getting real he like hey what's up what's crack i see you my g jeffrey jeffrey that's you that's Je jeffrey that's jeffrey's right there that's the first african-american minority leader up in this piece i see you bro i see you my boy that's a wild boy right there shoot for a minute there i thought he was going to be speaker of the house the way the repo rights was playing and kept face for about four days 15 rounds it was crazy though because all of a sudden you kind of see him shift and like face the crowd square on right you see auntie silent assassin her eyes get like real wide right and she kind of pull her shoulders back a little bit and then like k macaroni he kind of hit one of these like he was confused about what was going on i'm right here this one right here look at it for real okay look at it look at it good because i'm gonna explain it to you Please correct me if I'm lying, but don't it look like at this moment, VP Silent Assassin just like telepathically told him, get him. Like she had to because all of a sudden, BDB just started going in. But when he first started to get it cracking right, he get up there, he like, Mitch, money make the Mitch. Where you at, my boy? But BDB keep yelling his name, right? But he couldn't really see him because you know how Mitch get down. For whatever reason, he got to show the most amount of disrespect and the least amount of class to try to prove a point. But honestly, I just think he's still salty that that black man had the audacity to become president. And it was probably a little sprinkle in that wound because the man standing in front of him screaming his name in front of all these people in here had the nerve to stick beside him two times. And everybody started standing up, you feel me? They clapping for Mitch, whatever. You know, Mitch, he doing him, he don't move. And when he didn't move, I almost got nervous for a second, but I think like somebody had checked his pulse, so it was cool. So at the end of the day, he was just being mean, but see, that was on him because BDB, and that's that energy quick. BDB, he looking around, but he don't see him, so he like, you know, I don't know where Mitch is. I'm sure he in here somewhere. He probably in O Mill. But did y'all know that Mitch is the longest serving member of Congress of in this world? And like in the back of my head, of course, I'm thinking like, well, I mean, if you look at him, he look like he been here for all 118. But the mature side of me just kind of know they're like, well, yeah, see, that's why we need term limits.